This is our last chance. What's up guys, we're back with another epic opening video. Hopefully it's epic. This is our last chance. At the Black Winged Dragon. Before you, you see three Darkwing Blast booster boxes. These were part of EX Gamer's box that he sent me. These are all the Darkwing Blasts he sent me. I have zero left. So we either get the Black Winged Dragon this time or we don't. So it's all like to EX Gamer. Shout out to him. For that, we have a giveaway. I'll be giving away these three cards. Mystical Elf, we have Vampire Lord and Triple Tactics Talents. All you have to do is like the video, be subscribed, turn on notifications, let me know down below. Will we get it in this video? Whew, here we go. And as we are opening these boxes, I will, I, I wanted to say that I know we're behind on giveaways. Like we're definitely behind right now. So if you have been emailing me and I've responded to you, don't freak out. I will be sending out that giveaway or responding to you again at some point very soon. I know there's a lot going on, uh, but I am a little bit behind. So bear with me on that, but we will be announcing new ones pretty soon, but I don't wanna announce new ones before I've communicated with the people who have already claimed them, etc. So I'm gonna try to get that all done pretty soon, but there is a lot going on with, you know, just stuff everywhere. I'm still trying to locate where I put everything, you know, try to get all my giveaways in an order so I can like actually do them because if I can't find the giveaway, I can't ship it out, everything like that. So trying to figure that all out. I think for the most part, we're almost ready. It should be pretty soon, but just uh, bear with me. I know some people have been emailing me a lot and don't worry if I've responded once, eventually I will get to it. I like to get, I was like, I was on a good schedule of about a week later, but that fell apart when we moved. <laughs> Today's video is sponsored by Whatnot. Whatnot is a live auction app where you can sell and buy items live as well as offline. I personally go live there pretty often and I will be going live there this Thursday at 5 p.m. opening Legend of Blue Eyes White Dragon until we get the Blue Eyes White Dragon. And we may even open up some original 2002 packs. If you guys want to check out Whatnot, you can simply click the link down below and you'll get $15 free credit for anything on Whatnot. So make sure to find my live streams by clicking the link down below searching Ruxin 34 and bookmarking my shows i have two scheduled right now and i'll be scheduling more in the future so if you want to be a part of the legend of blue eyes stream on thursday at 5 p.m central or you want to follow the live stream for phantom nightmare next week make sure to go check out the link down below thanks again to whatnot for sponsoring this video here we go 72 packs of Darkwing. I've also been considering a different, uh, speaking of giveaways while we're at it, we're trying to get that Blackwing right now while I'm talking, but I've been considering doing, let's just do this. We have 72 packs. Cucumber Horse, already a great start. Uh, Zalamander, we have Werner Sliff, we have Exeep, and Zep Ruby of the Goatee. That's an ultra rare. I've been considering doing a different giveaway structure. Um, I'm trying to find a way where I don't have to do 365 shipments a year. <laughs> Because uh, let me tell you, not cheap doing that many shipments. Also takes forever. You know, I got to deal with 365 different people, do 365 different shipments, 365. Giving away the 365 things is actually not the problem. It's everything else that comes with it. Uh, trying to figure out a better way to do that. Rux and special. We have Kashtira, Shangri Ira. All right, there's Ira. Shout out to VOP. All right, these are like sticking together. It's cold today. Okay, let's just uh, let's go sideways strategy today. We have cashed here a birth. Sometimes going sideways is the way to go. It's just like you don't rock the special as much. If the cards are trying to stick together, you can kind of push through a little bit better. We have Vernus Lift. Sometimes it works. We have the oh the Googlim Spear of the Goatee. So all you guys who hate pack tricks, you will love this episode then. And we've done a few this a few times recently, so I'm switching it up a little bit. We do have 72 packs to open today for EX Gamer as well. So if we can, it would make sense. That the EX Gamer would be the one to get the uh, the Darkwing, Blackwing Dragon. I always have to say Darkwing because I'm about to say Darkwing Dragon. <laughs> I literally say it every time. It's like a, it's one of those things where you can't stop yourself from saying it. And then you're like, oh crap, I'm saying it again. Cucumber Horse, nice. We have Blackwing Chinook, the Snow Blast. Very nice. So still a lot of really good cards in Darkwing Blast uh, that we want to get. Fenrir is still pretty expensive, even though it has the reprints. So we still want to get that. We have uh, Mize in the Battle Ninja. Lubellion still a really good card. Uh, all those, uh, not, yeah, is it cash No, Bistial, not cash tier. The Bistial supers are all still pretty good. I think the Magnum Hut is down to like a dollar because it's it's down to one, I think, on the ban list. But the others, the Blackwing Veda, the Emblem of Wandering. The others like uh, Serenir is pretty good now. It's like four bucks. Last time I saw the uh, Druid Swarms, like 10 bucks, eight bucks, nine bucks. It's all, you know kind of fluctuating around there. Uh, Salamander, we have the Branded Beast. Man, these packs are not going in the trash right now. Okay, let's see 
if we can get something like the Starlight Blackwing Dragon. It's one of the cards I've been searching for a lot. We've opened a lot of packs for the Blackwing Dragon. I've not gotten it. I don't know the exact like number. I don't even remember how many cases we opened initially on this set. I feel like it was a few. We have the uh, Marilot. It's got to be at least three. I think that's like the minimum I do. It might have even been like four. I'm trying to remember what did we pull out of here in terms of Starlights? We pulled the big one, whatever it was, Dynamite Power Load. Try to, what is the big Starlight out of here? Because Lubelion didn't get a Starlight. Fenrir didn't get a Starlight. None of the Bestials got a Starlight. It was uh, Valence uh, Awakening. Okay. What was the card? Tear Laments, uh, not Rhino Heart. Rukulos. Yeah, we pulled that with Simo. That's what it was. Cucumber Horse. We have Blackwing, Shamal, the Sandstorm. I think I didn't open as many for this one because we, I had to go to YCS or something after that. So I didn't like have as much. I don't remember exactly why, but I think it had something to do with going to the YCS. So I only opened some of them. We have a Terror in the Hidden City. Okay, super. I just dropped the Silent Wolf. Sorry, Silent Wolf. EX Gamer, come on. Bless us with something good. EX Gamer's box just keeps on giving. Oh, speaking of the Bestial Lubelion, that's a nice card. Okay. I think it's around 25 to 30 last I saw. I think it was more around 25. Could have gone up or down. It was about a week ago I last checked, I think. About a week ago. Okay. Very good pull. Very Like the best secret in the set, or at least it used to be. I don't think anything but a pass is Serenir. Very good pull as well. So we're going to pull that one out. What else we got? We have a Tri Brigade and a Sprite Double Cross. Double crossing the Double Crosser. What shall we double cross this time? Uh-oh. Vera, the Venus Lift Goddess. So here's the problem with doing it sideways is it's really hard not to have that, like the foil spot just start moving over on its own. You see, like you can tell it's a ritual already, which I don't love that part about this strategy. That's why when you do it the other way, so like a lot of people complain about this, but if it's like this, it's like you never know what's coming next. Even if it's a starlight, like you, can, you don't see the shimmer, you don't see anything. It's just so, okay, this is working pretty good this time. Actually, we have the Iron Digger, we have Liger. And the Goatee of Fury. The Goatee. All right. We have the Celestial Apparatus. We have Prediction. Kagero. Tier Limits Grief. We have the Grief of Tier Limits getting banned. Actually, I don't even know how banned they are. I just know they're not great right now. Blackwing Feather Whirlwind. I just remember people debating if Tier Limits was a fun format or not for like however long that lasted, like a few months. It was like nonstop. It was like, no, it is a fun format because the skilled player wins because if you know your Tier Limits, you're really good and you beat the other Tier Limit people. They're like, no, it sucks because there's only one deck, so it's no fun. How could it be fun to play with one deck? They're like, because it's skilled, man. You're not skilled if you don't like Tier Limit. Yeah, I'm just... That's that was that was Twitter for a while. Yeah, so I didn't actually I mean, I didn't play TCG there. And then I kind of quit uh, Master Goal when Tier Limit came out. I played a little bit. It was an, it was interesting, but I was kind of, you know, I played a lot of Master Goal at that point. So I was kind of done with it for them. And uh, that was the last time I played a year ago. It was about a year. It might have been a little bit less than a year. It might have been like March or something. I don't remember exactly when that was. EX Gamer, give us something amazing. Tier Limits Grief, we have Amazonas Augusta, Curse of Aramint, Aramiteer, Aramint, Liger King, Soul Skizzers, we have the Spiritualist and Kashtira Birth. What else we got here? What else we got? Give us something good. Give us something good. We've got the Tier Limits Grief. We got the Great Noodle Invasion. Watch out for those noodles. The Infernal Queen Salmon. Uh, retrain. Very strange. We have Golgonda, Scareclaw, Terrors in the Hidden City. Since we've gone to the pack trick, haven't pulled anything. So just throwing that out there. There are still a lot of packs left. We had already pulled two secrets though at the beginning. So that was probably, I didn't mix these up at all. So they're kind of just box by box. Unless, unless I could start pulling them randomly. We have the Silent Wolf. We got a Ruxin Special, Vernisliff, Cucumber Horse, big hit. Oh, there it is. The Rukolo secret rare. Third secret of the opening. We should get at least six, right? In theory, if it's three boxes. The question is, will we get a Starlight? Which is three and 24, so about one eight. So 12 and a half percent chance. So how do you feel about a 12 and a half percent chance, everyone? Let me know in the comments. How do you feel about a 12 and a half percent chance? Cashier Ogre for Simo. We have Branded Regained. Darkwing, 12.5% chance. I'm liking my odds. That's all I got to say. We got this. We have Frecky. We have Salmon. We have Pendulum. Squall. Tilting Entrainment. Kashtera Ogre. Sites of Battle. Naturia Mole Cricket. And Sprite. Devil Cross. Okay, I'm going to mix it up. I'm going to start pulling some random cards. Or random packs. All right, I'm going to do it like this. We're going to do the sideways strategy. We have the Bistial Serenia. The Serenia. Random pack it is, you know? Just to make it more interesting, make it more shuffled. We have Scareclaw, we have Goatee, we have Vera, the Venusliff goddess, Venusliff. Can we get something epic? Blackwing Dragon, please. 
Simon Larchmean, I've been searching for this sucker for so long. Like this set is a year and a half old now. Is that right? Wow. Is it really a year? There's an album loss. Is it really a year and a half old? Almost a year and a half. I think it was a November set. So really, that was only two months. So a year and two months. So not really a year and a half, but crazy. That's insane. Actually, this said it was so good when it came out. Drew's worm. Very good. Speaking of, we have the celestial apparatus. What else will we pull? We have Castier Prep. We have the oh, that's the better card. Cucumber Horse and then the Black Feather Whirlwind. EX Gamer, so far you've done pretty good. You got a Lubellion. You haven't gotten a Castier Fenrir though or a Castier Unicorn, which should also be pretty decent. A lot of good stuff. Let's see. Okay, Brandon regained. Is there a good spell card that could be a foil? I'm trying to think. There's probably a huge one that I'm forgetting, right? There's probably something that's like, dude, that was the best card in the set. Uh, we have Black Winged Assault Dragon, the cover card, everybody. Bayrock Dragon, that's Pokemon like. Check this out. Cover card, baby. Nice. Very nice. Can we continue to pull good stuff for EX Gamer, the legend, Goatee Fury, the Fury of Goatee? You think there'll be any fury in the comments about Goatee? Possibly. It's possible. <laughs> we have Tier Laments, we have Amazonus, we have Black Wing Veda, the emblem of wandering dark wing blast hope you guys are enjoying the video let me know down below if there's anything that you guys want to see on the channel that maybe we've done before maybe we haven't done before let me know i would like to see your suggestions in the comments then maybe we could uh try to get it happening in 2024 because it is still early in 2024 there's some cool stuff i'd like to do uh baku the beast ninja and uh we are getting close to not really close I and mean, we're pretty far 250 but you know 206 or 26 or 27 thousand subscribers away from 250,000, which will be a while in the grand scheme of things unless something crazy happens but start throwing out some ideas what would you guys want to see for a quarter million quarter million is pretty cool we have cucumber horse tilting entrainment branded beast super psychic rover red rover psychic rover for let's do a little pack trick on this one this one's gonna have some good i have a good feeling yoshiro scare claw decline tri brigade amazon silver sword tier limit scream scare claw and Baku the Beast Ninja. Darkwing, come on, baby. Darkwing Blast, our last chance. Come on, we, we have one chance. We've had so many chances, but this is our last chance, really. These last packs here to get the Blackwing Dragon. Unless, of course, something crazy happens. Uh, and by crazy, I mean we go get more packs at some point. But I have not really got packs of this since I got that blister box, which was like a couple months after the set came out, I feel like. So it was probably a year ago. Um, and I have not bought anything since then for, for Darkwing Blast. And we've just slowly ran out of everything we had. We have Tilting Entrainment. We have Heartbeat, Go to Cosmos, Amazon Secret Arts, Vernisliff, Super Rare. Oh no, throwing the packs everywhere. Is it a sign? Will it be something good? Here we go, like this. Vernislip, no, nothing in there. Nothing in there. Origin of Bamboo Sword. Come on, Darkwing Blast. Come on. I've, I mean, what more do you need from us? What more do you need? I and mean, we've pulled like every other card. Can you just give us the card we want? Bayrock Dragon, Freki, Underworld Ritual. We have Celestial Apparatus, Blackwing Zonda, Naturia Mole Cricket. We can go to Cosmos. We have a War Chief and the Boris Storm, the Wicked Wind. Come on. Our last chances have not gone, gone well recently. We did a last chance for it. What was it? Some other card we hadn't pulled, and I don't think we pulled it. So, <laughs> yeah, it was, uh, it's been tough. Our last chances have not been helping us out very much. There's a Valence Awakening, a solo activation. That is a Valence card. Not awesome. So, not super exciting if it's Valence. Let's see if anything can turn that around like a Shemishin Samsara Sorrow Cat. That is... A little bit of a tongue twister, but I didn't fall for it. You know why? Because I'm a professional. Okay, guys, this is what I do. And I got to be careful about talking about uh, last time I was making jokes in a video about how hard my job was. And then I tried to stream whatnot and it was a nightmare. <laughs> Everything went wrong. So, uh, yeah, so maybe maybe I should scale back on let's say in that because then I'm going to jinx myself and it's going to become hard. But also speaking of whatnot, I have a couple shows scheduled. Go check those out if you guys want to. Uh, I think one of them is next week for the new set. I think about this point, we should have one for this week. Unless something happens, there should be one up on Whatnot. So go check out Whatnot, link in the description. Get $15 credit when you guys click on that link. And then uh, also go follow my profile, Ruxin34. Once you find it, make sure to bookmark the streams. Two Lubellions. Two Lubellions in three boxes. EX Gamer does it again. He does it again. He's insane. Two Lubellion, three boxes. What a legend. Wow. Check that out. EX Gamer, congrats. Uh, Wow. Okay, I guess that was a, the whatnot plug. Worked out very well there because we pulled a good card finally. So very nice. Very cool. That's awesome. Glad that we got that. We now have 
Another good card, but we still don't have the card we're looking for. That is the Black Wing Dragon, not the Dark Wing Dragon, the Black Wing Dragon. Come on, please, please, come on, just do it. We have Sprite Sprint. That's also a good card. Is this the one that got banned or was it the other one? I feel like it might have been Sprite Sprint. Uh, I know it was one of the links. One of the links uh, got banned at some point. Was it banned or put to one? I feel like it was banned. That was in the height of Sprite, though, so they definitely could have brought it back. But I don't remember seeing Sprite coming back that fast. Usually if they unban something, it takes quite a while. So I'm pretty sure it hasn't been unbanned or anything since then. We have Cucumber Horse. We have a Donner Dagger for Hire, along with some other cool cards. Fernal Queen Salmon really likes to show up. We have a ton of Cucumber Horse. This is, I mean, what I call a W in my book, okay? We might not have gotten the best card that we're looking for it not yet at least uh but if we get like 12 cucumber horse that's a w we have secret arts we have hot rod dancing leaves zonda sprite double cross okay dark wing blast look i know you've i know you've had your fun okay look it's been a while since we pulled a good card yeah gosh you're a unicorn and by good card we've pulled a lot of good cards it hasn't been that long it's been a while since we pulled a starlight rare out of here how about that i know it's been a while but why don't you just throw us a bone magnum hut Another good one. We haven't gotten a ton of bestials though. That's been kind of the negative of this opening. We have gotten one of each though, so that's pretty good. I guess that's not terrible. Let's see if maybe we can get more at the end. Along with our Starlight Rare Blackwing Dragon, we have Ixeep, Heartbeat, and Dino Might Power Load. Still a few packs left. We opened 72 packs total today after we're done with these. So a lot of packs have been opened. Kashira, that's the that's the XCs. Okay. A lot of packs have been opened, but we still have not gotten the card we're looking for. Another secret. Ignis Phoenix, the Draco Slayer. Wait, how many secrets is that? I feel like that was seven secrets. Okay, yeah, there was only six. Never mind. I, I got a little excited. I was like, wow, did we get an extra secret? That'd be pretty cool. Let's see if we can end. We don't need a secret, though. We're not looking for a secret. We are looking for a Starlight Rare. Come on, a real Starlight Rare, like, with crazy hard ratios. Not like QCRs, like, where they're, like, you know, th one every four boxes, which is still pretty hard. But these are, like, ridiculous. Like, they're so hard to pull. One in 25 boxes. Majesty Pegasus. It's almost a little bit too hard. But, you know, makes it fun. For me, at least. Not necessarily for everybody else. It's pretty hard to pull a Starlight Rare. We have a Blackwing, but that makes it exciting when you actually do, right? When you actually pull one, it's like, holy crap, this thing is really hard to get. All right, come on. Speaking of, this thing is really hard to get. Uh, is this it? Is this the moment? Is this the moment, EX Gamer? Oh my gosh. Okay, one, two, three, four. Wait, I didn't pull a card, did I? Okay, should still be four. Okay. We've been searching for the Black Wing Dragon for a long, long, over a year. We've been opening packs for this thing. There seems to be something shiny in this pack that gives us a one in five chance of it being the card we're looking for. Whew, here we go. Infernal Queen Salmon. We have Freki the Runic Fangs. Psychic Rover. Naturia Camellia. Tilting and Trainman. We have Tier Limits Heartbeat. Goaty Cosmos. Come on, baby. Give us the card. Here we go. Is it the Black Wing Dragon? It is. We have pulled it. Starlight Rare Black Wing Dragon. Oh my goodness. Over a year of opening packs of Dark Wing Blast has resulted in us finally pulling the card we were searching for on the initial launch. Oh my goodness. EX Gamer. You legend. And this has been sitting in his box that he sent me for however long it's been. It's been way too long. It took me forever to actually open these. Oh, EX Gamer. He does it again. Legend with four packs left. Wow. Okay. Let's just get these open because we're not going to top that. That is amazing. We finally pulled it. I can't. I could. When I saw Starlight, I was like, whoa, I can't believe we even got one. And then one in five chance is still not great. I mean, it could have been any of those. That's a good card. The destructive Duruma Karma Cannon. What a Darkwing Blast opening. We basically pulled every good card. We got, we didn't get Fenrir. That was the only card we didn't get. So if we got one of those, that'd be nice. But Zep, it's only an ultra in here. So honestly, one of the easier ones to pull. Okay, last pack match. If you guys have enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Make sure to shout out EX Gamer in the comments because wow, what a legend. Ah, oh, finally, feels so good. We have Tier Limits Grief. We have Amazonus Augusta, Curse of Aramids here. Art Tool, we have Liger King, Soul Scissors, we have Amazon Spiritualist, and uh, the Show Magnum Hut. Not a bad way to end it. Thank you guys for watching this video. It has been a blast. Shout out to Tone Fo Show, Puffins of Doom, Ernesto DN, America Deutster, Brad, KK Beats, Another Thai Show, Ian Musa, Junior Barding, Robert F., Thomas McLean, Chang Lang, and Joey Castle. Thank you guys for supporting the channel, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.